create a field on incident form called expected date. If incident moved to pending, this date will be at seven days from the current date. So let's understand the requirement. What the requirement is saying that in the incident form, if I go to this incident form and open any particular incident, and uh, let's say I'm opening this incident at that moment. So we have a field called stay and if the state is going to be uh, pending, it means that on hold and there is a on hold reason is mandatory. There will be a one field uh, called expected date and that date, um, I mean this field will be read only and then once somebody saved this form, the field value will be added seven days from the current date. So that's the expectation or that's the uh, requirement for today. So let's understand one more time. So in the incident form, Whenever the state will be moved to the on hold, there will be a field called expected date and that field will be read only and that field have the data the seven days from the current date. So that's the, that's the um, today's requirement. So let's understand. So first I'm going to add a field here called expected date or let's see I, if we have the date called a due date or something like that. So I'll go to the form layout and then add um, on the bottom of on hold reason, I'll try to add one field. So there is a field called due date. I am going to populate that due date. Um, um, I'm not going to create a new field. I'm just updating that due date. In case you have, <clears throat> in case if you want to populate other thing, you can put that. So I just add the due date, the bottom of the on hold result. I'll just save that. I'm not making read only. You can just uh, make the read only by creating the UI policy. So what we are trying to say that whenever these share state will be on hold and then somebody save that after saving that the due date should be populated the current date uh, i mean seven days from the current date so that's the expectation so very first thing before i are uh, writing the code make sure that um this date functionality that um is a little complex and there are too many methods are available so we will try to cover one by one based on the different different requirement so date function itself is a very little difficult now if you see we have a two field one is the date and another is the date time let's see which type of field it is then this field is the date time field so you can see it have that you can put the date and then time right so that's the um, field right now now let's first go back to the background script uh, before i write the code i want to show that how we can uh, i mean we can do that so for that what i'll do i'll go to the background script and i'll show you that how the uh, i mean which script I'm going to write to populate the seven days from the current day. So first thing here, I will type that var gr date, something like that. And here new glide date and time. So we have a two method for date and time. So one is the date and then date time. So depending on your requirement, you can select that. So if date will return only the date and date time field will or date time method will return the date and time. So if we select the date, new glide date time and in the bracket, if we put that, it will return you the current date and time. So let's put that GS info and here we can put the GR date, whatever variable we declare. So if I print that, what will show? It will give me the current date. Let's see that. And it is right now showing the current date and then time here. Now, if we want to add the requirement is that we should add the uh, seven days from the current date right to add that gr date dot and you can see once you put the dot there are various method we have so um there are a lot of methods we have so we'll try to uh, go one by one or maybe uh, different different scenario based so let's go back to at that moment we are going to say that add time so what we are trying to uh, add we are trying to add the seven days so you can see that we have a add add local time and add days utc time so add method add local time and add utc time so first uh, we can do so of what do we want to do we want to add the day so seven day we want to so we have to select either add days local time or add days utc time so if you select that add this UTC time and let's say I have how many time. So if you see the parameter, it's popping up the number of days. Okay. 
amount and number we need to be passed the number so what do you need to pass we need to pass the seven so if we pass the seven what will be happen it will add the seven days from the current date now we are going to print that gs dot info info and then print if we run that so what it is showing that so uh, current date is the four and then we added that uh, seven days so uh, so it is showing that updated the, the latest date called 11 days. So this code we are going to add in our script. To do that, what we are going to do, I am going to write a business rule. So you can use any existing business rule. Uh, if you have, create a new business rule and update that. So I am going to create a new business rule called add days and there I am going to put the condition based on this condition, I want to populate the due days. Similarly, if you want to add month, year or maybe second minutes what you can do you can just put the gr date days and dot and there are various method for add so if you see add days then add month then add second add weeks add year so these are the method for adding so you can you can add month year second depending on your use case so these are the method you can perform for adding month year and second the name is let's say that add days here the table I will select the incident table and then I will select the advance and it will be in update and then what is the condition condition is state is pending or on hold at that moment what we want to do we want to uh, you know populate this due date field so I will copy this field and say current dot due date and what value we want to populate the value should be this value I'll copy this script and paste here and I'll remove this info all this info and then copy this one and paste here again I'm repeating date functionality is little complex so we are going to cover one by one uh, so first we are talking about that how we can add that date okay so I'll just save that so let's understand one more time whenever this uh, value uh, state is on hold at that moment during the update that current date it will add the seven day and then that date will populate here with the due date okay so let's refresh our incident form and try to on hold and see if this script is giving able to set the seven days from the current date or not so I'm going to set that type equal to on hold here on hold reason something like that and once we save that it's supposed to be uh, update the due date and you can see it's updated the due date and you can see it is showing that seven days from the uh, now so that's it for today if you have any question let me know in my comment section thank you very much have a great day